So your new SV8 shipment has arrived. What do I do with all these things? So we've gone ahead and unpacked all the boxes and let's take a look at what we have. For starters, we have our SV8 damper. We have our SV8 lower spring retainer and retaining ring. Mounting hardware. Our travel chips. And of course, our hypercoil rear spring. Also found in your box will be some really cool stickers. And of course, your owner's manual with a link to all of your setup tips and tricks. Step one, we need to install the mounting hardware into your shock. On standard eyelet shocks, you'll insert the hardware in both ends. Whereas on Trunnion, you'll only need to install the hardware into the shaft end eyelet. Your hardware kit will come pre-assembled in the package. Before inserting into the shock, we'll simply remove one spacer from the axle pin kit. With one of the spacers removed, we need to now insert the axle pin into the eyelet itself. We'll simply do this by starting the installation by hand and either pushing on the table to push it in or we can use a bench vise. Once the axle pin is completely inserted, we'll simply take the other spacer and install it onto the axle pin, ensuring that the large diameter goes inwards towards the eyelet. Step number two, we've installed the mounting hardware into the damper assembly, and now we've mounted it to the bike. From here, we wanna cycle the suspension completely to ensure there's no collision with the shock or any other components. All we're gonna do is cycle the suspension all the way down, all the way up, ensuring that there's no interference anywhere on your frame. After cycling the suspension and confirming there's no interference, we're ready to take the shock off and move on to step three. Okay, step three. Now that we've confirmed that there's no collision with the frame, we're simply gonna mount the spring onto the damper. First, we're gonna take the spring and slide it over the damper body. The spring is not directional, so you can put it on in either direction. Once we install the spring on the damper body, we wanna ensure that the retaining ring groove is exposed on the spring adapter. If it's not, you can simply use the adjustable spring retainer to dial this down, lowering the spring to expose the groove. Now that the spring is on the damper body, we're going to take the lower spring retainer supplied in your box and simply slide it over the spring adapter. The flat side of the retainer goes towards the spring. With the spring over the damper body and the lower spring retainer in place, we now need to position the retaining ring. We do that by sliding it over the shaft end and inserting it into the groove. If it's inserted properly, it should spin freely. And when I grab the spring and let it drop, the spring adapter and spring retainer will sit flush. So with the retaining ring confirmed that's in the correct position, we need to set the initial preload on the shock before bolting it back onto your bike. To do so, we're gonna flip the shock over, spin the adjustable spring retainer clockwise until it kisses the spring or has enough tension to keep the spring from moving up and down. From here, we'll simply set one full turn of preload on the adjustable spring retainer and it's ready to ride. Now that we've completed the installation steps and your complete SV8 shock is mounted on the bike, we'll just take a second to go over a few of the basic adjustments. Your SV8 shock has been preset at the factory with 12 clicks out on low speed compression, which is this large blue dial, 12 clicks out of high speed compression, which is the large silver dial, and nine clicks out of low speed rebound, which is the red adjuster dial at the bottom of the shock. But what does it mean when we say 12 clicks out? By clicks out, we're referring to taking the adjuster and turning it completely clockwise until it stops. Not forcing it, just until it stops. Once it stops, we count counterclockwise each click to 12. So we're really excited you're on our new SV8 rear shock. For additional tuning and setup support, please refer to our website, pushindustries.com, and under the support tab, select SV8.